Hi everyone, and welcome to Eagle Creek Railroad. Um, this is just a quick mail call video. Uh, some new goodies have arrived to the layout, and um, I just wanted to run through them quickly and show you what I got. Some of this stuff, um, some of you will have seen before, because I have picked up another fuel depot kit from 3D Plus. Nice red and printed kit. Um, like I said, I already had one, but as I extended the layout the other day, I decided to pick up another one mainly for this item um, just because i wanted an additional unloading and loading gantry but as the price difference between just the gantry or the actual whole kit was only about six pounds i decided to get a full other kit so those are all the parts that come with the kit i really like this one i think the detail on this is fantastic it really is really really good so one of the new items I got was some 3D printed fencing, because obviously with all the industry uh, surrounding the railway, a lot of it is fenced off. So they come in little panels. Obviously this is PLA print rather than resin, but the detail is still there. Um, it's still just as good. And I think you get a meter of fencing for, I think it's about 450, five pounds, somewhere around there. And you also get a small, like, um, gated area, like an entry gate with the barrier as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. Some nice little extra detail there. And obviously a load of the panels. Okay, so the other two items I got are from Graham Farish, part of the scene craft range. And this one here is an electrical relay room. So we'll just... Uh, Get it out and take a quick look. So this is the relay room. I'll be positioning this next door to one of the substations I got. And it'll act as you know, basically an electrical switch room. Um, you can see the Backman, obviously they own um, Graham Farish. So they are all technically Backman products, but the Graham Farish range is the end scale range. So that's the relay room. And I also got a depot crew room. Again, Graham Farish. So my plan for this is to use it as the control room for the refinery. So I will be adding additional detail to the roof, such as, uh, you know, aerials, antennas, you know, a satellite dish, that kind of thing, to uh, make it look a bit more control room-ish. Um, obviously, there's a lot of comms and a lot of data processed by the control room, so it'll need, you know, that sort of comms and data infrastructure. So, yeah, I will be adding some more details to this. But I liked it because, um, obviously, I work in the refinery, and our control room is very similar to this, or the, well, the gas plant control room is anyway. So you've got... This end um, would be the workshop, as we've got with ours. Obviously, you've got your entrance there, but I, I really like it because there's a lot of windows. So, obviously, the, the operators and the technicians would be sat in the control room, you know, monitoring um, the gas plant itself or the refinery. And, you know, it works well as um, the technicians' workshops and stores as well. So, yeah, I've got one of these in double O, and I immediately thought of it um, when I was thinking about the control room for the refinery. So I decided to get one in end scale. Um, there's some good deals to be had at the minute with the January sales and things from various online, um, you know, wholesalers, retailers, etc. Um, obviously, I, I am in the UK, so it might be slightly different um, for my sort of uh, American and cousins from other countries. But um, yeah, there are some good deals to be had for British modelers at the moment anyway. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. I just wanted to share those with you quickly. Um, not an awful lot has happened since my last little update video. Um, I've been in work and I'm on nights again tonight, so I may be quiet for a few days. But these arrived um, yesterday afternoon, so they were ready for me when I got home. So, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video and uh, just show you what I got. So I hope everyone's well. Stay safe and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers all.